Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play channel, the Let's Play channel that I made all for myself. Uh, here today as a guest star is my good friend Tyson. Hello. Uh, and today we are going to be playing a game I haven't actually touched at all, despite it being out for forever, which is Disco Elysium. It is my uh, second been, favorite game of all time. I've been I've been told very good things about this game. Mostly from, not mostly from you, TJ, but, you know. I have like sung just its a praises lot of quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I do not have a load game to go into, so we're just going to start it fresh. Oh. I didn't forget to mention. Select archetype. You have to build your character. Creating your own is more fun. That. So you have oh, stats. Okay. Uh, they top out at five, and these affect literally everything. We're just gonna put these all down to one for a second. Let's see what kind of what kind of stuff do I want to get into on this run? I like being agile, so I'll put some points into agility. Put some average muscle. That's a little bit boring. Hold on. Yeah, that's just kind of. That's more interesting. That is more interesting. All right. I'm fast, but not strong, and I'm smart, but not wise. Yeah. See, I put a whole bunch of points into uh, psyche and, in and intellect on it. So these are your skills. So, all these are subdivided into different skills, and as you get better at some of these, you're able to do more things, and more things will happen to you. Like, uh, for example, uh, Shiver. If you click on Shivers, uh, oh, it's in uh, Physique. Uh, tune into City. You'll just get random things of you noticing things about the city. Oh, interesting. Like uh, hearing seagulls and stuff like that as you just kind of tune into the city around you. Uh, so I get to set one signature skill? Yes, one signature skill that's your what you're the best at. Mm -hmm. hmm. I kind of don't want to put uh, a signature motoric skill because I feel like I feel like I'm already kind of set, you know? Yeah. Because it will start by putting a empathy. Yeah, because it will start by uh, putting extra points into that one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Deduce the world. Yes. Oh no, Encyclopedia, it will just pull up red bits of lore about the world. Ooh, this one seems fun. Visual Calculus. It is very fun. I'm gonna set that one. Alrighty. Alright. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Well, that's nice. We don't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, well, everyone, thank you so much for watching, but it looks like this Let's Play is over. Uh, have a good day <laughs> and tune in next time for the full Let's Play of uh, Sonic 06, the Platinum Edition hit for the Xbox 360. Yes. A console we definitely own. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can emulate it. Yeah. Never, ever. You're going to. I'm just gonna simply just gonna keep hang not out. existing. Time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. 
is great. Yeah, it is. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. But what if he gave me a little bit more nothing? Come yes. On. Smooth passage. Hell yeah. I'm going to note here, there's going to be a lot more swearing in this than most content on this channel. Oh, so, for sure. So, get ready, the filter is gone. Get this one. I need to belittle myself instead. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, didn't you? Thank you, Limbic System. Yeah. Fear and apprehension. You should ask us out there first. So, uh, all of those skills in that last screen, remember? They all talk <laughs> to you. They're all different characters. Oh, so interesting. So what you did was you picked your favorite. So mm -hmm. that one will pop up a bit more than the others. I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. Honestly, I vibe with that one. Let's go. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sin. You say, say, with intelligence being your second highest stat. Mm hmm. Like a fly to the ointment. Your conscience sticks to it. The limbs and headed machine of pain and undignified. of liquor rises from your mouth and with it an ungodly headache uh, who am i i was about to say you should probably read the choices that you pick let's go Thank you, Encyclopedia. Yeah. Let's let's open some eyes. Oh okay, yeah, you don't see it on screen, but for every single one of these, well, sometimes you see it on screen, but for every single one of those, uh, like people talking to you, a dice is rolled. Mhm. Mm so sometimes you fail. So there's a little hint I'll of never randomness. Ah. <sighs> Point and click. Yep. Point and use click. the mouse to move around. What's, what's I think you can use WASD as well. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was yeah. playing. Mm -hmm. Magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Okay. What's the, what's the, what's the tape looking like? Still on, rolling empty. Hold tab to highlight. It'll highlight everything you can click on. Whoa. What is this? That one shoe. I will take one shoe. You could go into your little inventory down there and you could put it on. Oh, I am, I'm wearing the other one. Yeah. No. Oh, no you I'm put on the one that shoe. One. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go to let's uh, go to oh, yeah. You have two different health stats. Oh, I do, yeah. Uh, morale and health. Health and morale. Morale is far more important than health. Bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liquors. I think you're sure. I think you're sure. 
think your shirt is hanging right there too. Can I not click on this mirror? What is? Oh, that's a door, isn't it? This is a mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. I wonder who did that? Water springs from the base, then steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Yeah, I guess some crazy guy came through here that wasn't me. Suddenly, mm -hmm. you realize you have no memory of the fate that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Nothing? Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Oh, let's find out what we look and like. You slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. What? Where to even begin? There is a bloatedness. Then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue is okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. All right, let's check this mirror. <gasps> you have no idea who this thing is, do you? Hmm. An alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face just making itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Mm, no. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? What, what do you think it's conveying, Grain? Hmm. I think I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There's some charm to it. There might have been, ten years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Hmm. Well, uh... You do level up the more that you talk to people and do things. So you can raise these stats if you want to wait for them later. Also, they're white checks, so you can retry them. I'm going to try to locate the source of the expression. Like the rest of you, Damn. it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. You'll have to try it again later. Mm -hmm. I could try this one, too. You can. Nope. No. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Okay. Look at this shirt. Yeah, get that shirt. Let's get this ceiling fan. Oh, yeah. I'm going to recommend you go ahead and save the game real quick. Just because if anything happens to you, two chain pull switches. One uh, is a tiny fan. The other is a light bulb. So a if, truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. If you take damage in any way, uh, you will instantly die because you have one hit point. I see. And we'll have to go through that whole opening bit again. Uh, Fine. We'll just hit the big old regular save button. Yeah. There you go. There we go. This fan has two chain pull switches. 
One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Let's just go and get. You swoop up and catch the tie. Yeah. It's released from the blade. Easy. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Cool. Well, I got it. Let's yeah. get these pants. Yeah. Look at that drip. Yeah. Get the jacket. You also have a thought in your head that you can click on. Damn. I hate having thoughts. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your clear cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Sick. Another thing. Speaking uh, of doors. You can also look at the window. Oh, yeah. I wonder where my other shoe is. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Let's assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did it then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Oh, did I did I throw my other shoe out the window? <laughs> it is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. I threw my other shoe out the window. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well. Mm. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown. I threw my other shoe out the window. <laughs> Smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go get that shoe. In. Your toes curl up from the Congratulations, you got a quest to go find your shoe. And find my shoe, I will. Let's see anything else in here. I think that's everything. Nope. That door over there is locked. The one in the bathroom. Uh, can't go through there yet. Uh, I was gonna go check it with my key. But, you know, let's see. Find your other shoe. You look at that walk speed. Nyeom. Close it. Close it behind you. Thank you. Yeah. Look at the calendar. I know what day it is. March 51. Yeah. I'm not going to talk to that lady while I am missing one of my shoes. Something on the table? Something on the table. What is it? What? Ooh, money. That's probably for me. Yep. This looks like the door to the balcony. You got uh, 40 cents of real. Real money. Yeah. Oh, thank God. The first time I played this game, Nerds. that door crashed the game three times. Well, I am the best. Fair, I was playing Second. it on my old laptop that uh, is, is now deceased. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snake skin, reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. That's nice. I'm glad. See, there was, we got a lot from getting that second shoe. Yeah. And now... You have another thought? The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Yeah. Hey, lady. Oh, I can't talk to her from up here. Yeah, no, you can't shout down at people, sorry. Well, some people you can, not that person. Mm-hmm. I guess more shouting up at people. Not important. Okay, now I will talk to the lady because I am dripped out and I got two shoes. Yeah. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Disco dancer, yo. Yeah. Her eyes are brown and her face 
place is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. <laughs> Am I military personnel? No. Why'd you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. How do you <laughs> respond? You're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Uh, yeah. No, thanks. I, I do not want to try the expression on her. The expression. The one and only. Get going. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Yeah. Something stirs. Perfectly valid. About to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. But if I don't want to ask questions, you're a cop, Harry. <laughs> it is unnatural of you not to want to ask questions. Your name is Harry. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Hmm. What is it they have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Hmm. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Hmm. Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh, disco music. Oh, yeah. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. That is... That's a very pretentious name for a band. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about oh, oh, the better. Oh, yeah. Nobody likes them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. We go on, all right. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. What happens? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Hmm. What was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother me. So I just had like a depressed rager in my room last night. Oh, yeah. It would seem like a wounded boar. Mm hmm. All right. What happened next? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Yeah, I figured. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's so me. What did I do? A window was smashed. A tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Ah, uh, please tell me there wasn't anything else. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Mm. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. Or five in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you can go wow, now. To have been of assistance. Not gonna ask where you yeah, are. Where go? I mean, I'm in some sort of like disco club. There's a chance I am in the disco Elysium. Well, you have a key that says the whirling in rags. Or I'm there. Hey, maybe that's just the name of my specific room, you know? Could be. Look, a thing All to right. look at. Let's look at this thing. The weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump the Monde. Okay. I do want to know what you think about the art style, because I personally love it. Oh, I'm I'm a big fan of uh like more unconventional art styles like this. This is cool. Oh, I have to touch yeah, you have the to, stairs. You have to okay. click on the stairs. Police work is tough. Take breaks. Talk to strangers. Explore. Here I am. Down. Yeah. What's this? Like a light? Oh, it's like a... Okay. This is where the lyrics would be. Big old karaoke mic. Just waiting for someone to sing into it. Speaker connected to the radio. Okay. You should totally sing karaoke then. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. What's your soul like? My soul's immense. Yeah. And it needs to be heard through a PA system. <laughs> the people. <laughs> What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad, slow song you were listening to last night. Thought it was obvious. Hmm. I mean, I do know all the words to it already. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. So here's a fun thing. In my playthrough, I didn't get the comment about ostentatious orchestrations, so I didn't have that option. Hmm. I just had a, maybe I should think something happy. Song goes first, though. Maybe a tape of something appropriate would help. All right. So if I find a tape, I can sing karaoke. You sure can. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Ah, that's something someone says when they're not being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I trust him now. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? <laughs> Thank you, Logic. Yes. Logic will often tell you very obvious stuff. Sometimes not obvious stuff, but... You're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? Guessing I didn't do any of those things. You're right, you didn't, and it's only taken you three days not to. So I'm here to solve a murder. Mm-hmm. But I don't know anything about it because I got blackout amnesiac drunk. Mm-hmm. Whoops. In a depressed bender. What have I been doing all that time? You know, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always. Okay, what's with this bird? A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Hmm. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part of the world you are in right now. Okay. Yeah. Cool bird. The small steel tag says as much. The great skewer. 
stay quarry school. Oh yeah, perception is a uh like dex check. So you're gonna of course. you're gonna perceive so many things that I didn't. Oh, that's gonna be so neat to see. What happened to the bird? Your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh, I'm a cop, and I talk to whomever I please. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. All right, see ya. Are you ready to go talk to the best character? Mayhaps. You had a thought. Ooh, I had a thought. Get back here. Thought. Soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Interesting. This yellow circle. A glimpse of union paraphernalia, a strike poster, some red pennants. And down here, a man in a bomber jacket. Yeah. Who I cannot turn the camera to see if he is tapping his foot. Nope, no camera turning. Uh, then I guess all that's left to do is talk to him. Mm hmm. On the next episode. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we will be here once again with the next episode and see what's going on with our buddy here. All right. Let's go do it for now. Bye bye. See ya.